Good morning, snow fans. Welcome to the Snow Church video for December 28th. Getting ever and ever closer to 2023. And as far as things go with the weather, no major changes from yesterday. We're still looking, still looking at a pretty quiet week and weekend. There is a disturbance that'll come up through the region on Friday. Uh, pretty disorganized and fairly starved for moisture. So unless you're in the southern third of the Midwest, you're really not going to see too much in the way of uh, rain or snow. Most of the Midwest would see rain from this event. Um, although again, once you get to say north of I-70, um, certainly north of I-80, the amounts are going to be quite light and there will be a little bit of snow on the backside. Talk about that in just a little bit. Ladies, 24 hour. <laughs> okay, latest 24 hour snowfall map. Excuse me. Um, ending at 7, 6 o'clock in the morning, thereabouts. Um, not a whole lot. Actually, you know what? This is. Uh, this is. Uh, this yesterday's? Oh, I'm confused. At any rate, not much in the way of snow fell. Uh, so I'm just going to skip past that. I think that is an old map. Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. This is the new one. Pardon moi. Still, not much in the way of snowfall. Came on about an inch or so. Uh, I did pick up some heavier totals over there towards the um, Pictured Rocks and Whitefish Point area, even to Paradise couple fresh inches well more than a couple looks like about six to eight inches of fresh snow and then of course the mountains doing their thing with this pattern so far this season radar shows uh, and the radar shows and the radar shows what's going on here Bonk. this is really weirdo let's try this meh guess my hands have just too much energy this morning alright uh, not really anything to write home about a few scattered snow showers maybe a mixed precipitation up across the upper midwest and let's jump to the forecast Cause that's where everything's at today. In fact, everything is really out in that Monday, Tuesday time frame. So we'll just kind of buzz up through that. This is the European model, and here comes the uh, quietness. And then I wonder if this thing even updated. Yeah, it looks like it did. Um, today is the 28th, is it not? Yes, it's the 28th. Okay, so this is the latest model. I don't know what the heck is going on. But, alright, so here's uh, midday Thursday, a little bit of snow back here in Nebraska, South Dakota, maybe some mixed precipitation. Very, very light up across, uh, mainly Lake Superior. And here's that brutal Friday system. Just some patchy light rains in these areas. This would be primarily snow, but very wet snow, and some of it maybe not even them reaching the ground. I'm thinking about an inch or less in most cases with that snow in this area. And then we'll zip on out towards Sunday and watch the next system start to get organized here in the Rockies. Looks pretty impressive. And it will be pretty impressive by the time it gets to the Midwest. We're starting to see cyclogenesis. How about that for a $3 word? Throw that one out at your next cocktail party. Yeah, you see the cyclogenesis on the lee side of the Rockies with that last system? Ooh, was that impressive? Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, cyclogenesis means low pressure formation right down here in southeast Colorado and it will get even more organized as it moves into say 
southwest sections of Kansas and you have your rain snow line would come in about something like this this is uh, Monday morning and then we will go out to Monday evening at about six seven o'clock in the more in the evening and show you the rain snow line with that puppy goes something like this that's a way big line um, I don't know how to change the line thickness but that's a lot thicker than I normally go with so at any rate we'll delete that keep rolling her through oh I gotta keep going backwards okay here is Tuesday morning same thing we'll draw out the uh, let's try that one I don't know what that one's gonna do who hey, no. knew I don't know how to make the I'll have to study up on this thing because this line is just too thick for my liking but there you can see where it cuts through all of northern Wisconsin all of the UP all of Minnesota in the snow area rains from those points downward uh, again this is Tuesday morning and then we'll just whip this around uh, one Uh, Tuesday midday Tuesday around 7 p.m. and then it's all over with it's pretty quiet for the remainder of the week so that's scenario number one the good one we can also take a look at the snowfall potential with scenario number one I'll just bring it out here and here comes a little bit of snow with the Friday see what I mean by about an inch or so in most cases and then here comes the Sunday it's Monday one and it rolls out and bamboozle all right so that's basically the snowfall outlay of the GFS model would be pretty fine and dandy for a lot of areas of the northwest midwest not so good for i guess northeast wisconsin as well as the northern sections of lower michigan i mean i know that a ton of my visitors snow church visitors live in this well really like this area right there and i know you folks would love 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 to see a big storm but really the main the primary purpose of this is to um, give you the idea so that if you have to travel and then a strong second and a close second is what's going to fall on your own driveway and uh, what you will be able to watch pile up in a beautiful fashion so I don't totally leave you guys out by any means but um, really if it seems like I concentrate a lot on up up across here I, I do just because it's always sort of been the nature of the site so at any rate now let's get to the bad news Ooh. all right this is the GFS's snowfall outlay and here we get to the storm all right so Monday morning ouch 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 and ouch yeah well the reason for that is the GFS forms the low again forms the low here and then tracks it up about like this all right whereas i don't know if i can do this um 
Let's see. Nope. Wish I could jump back and forth between maps, but it's not going to let me. So anyway, that's the track GFS has. And then, like I showed you with the uh, European, <coughs> the track is more like something here. And then up to about there. That would be the track of the Europeans. So you can see it's probably a good 400 mile difference in tracks. You know, when you compare it to the whole world, that's a pretty small difference. But for us in the Midwest, it's a pretty big difference. And it's going to have a big difference on what happens. So. Uh, again, I'm not locked solidly into either idea. Um, and we're just going to have to wait it out, folks. I know it sounds like a cop-out, but like I said yesterday, I'd rather be much more truthful with you than to just pick sides and say, Ha-ha, this is what's going to happen. Hey, hey. And then come Monday or Tuesday, folks in Minneapolis are going, what happened to our 13 inches of snow? Um, you know, Duluth, what happened to our 12, 13 inches of snow? These areas, what happened to our 15, 16, 18 inches of snow? Um, so let's just keep, I guess, following this day by day and see what pans out. Um, I guess this good news still remains that, yes, we will be popping up above the freezing mark in much of the Midwest for daytime highs today, tomorrow, maybe even Saturday uh, or Sunday, but not major meltdown. I know we, no, we didn't get there yesterday. We actually did have some freezing rain down here in Jacobs, Jacobsville as well as Holton yesterday evening at about five o'clock. It didn't last too long, but kind of depressing when it was happening. But um, we're not going to be destroying the snowpack or anything like that over the weekend. So you still Come on up and, and be able to have a, a pretty decent time. Not perfect, but uh, you'll still be able to get out and snow play. Um, make your drive worth it, I think, by all sense and means. It's really Monday, later Monday into Tuesday is the question mark as to what kind of precipitation we get. And probably a lot of you folks will be back in the, uh, oh, the big cities and doing your thing, whatever it is, um, by then. So that will cover it for today and we got two more days left this week hopefully i can hang on and make it <laughs> it's been some busy days for me lately but at any rate i'm hanging in there feeling sprout <sighs> keep those sticks on the ice everybody and i will talk to you tomorrow